stand in defense of justice, fairness, the rule of law, and the integrity of this House of Representatives where we all belong. Pagalang-galang na speaker, ngayong Marso 30, matatapos po ang prangkisa ng isang institusyon na kaakibat na kasama katulong sa ating nation buildings na nakaraang 25 taon. Mr. Speaker, I'm talking about the case of the ABS network. They have applied for an extension, renewal of their franchise. And to this day, 11 resolutions have already been filed in the committee and referred to the Committee on Franchises so that this matter is given attention. But as of now, today, wala pong action ang Committee on Franchises. The franchise will expire on March of this year. Isang buwan na lang po yun. Pagkatapos po nun, hindi natin malaman ano magiging desisyon ng Kongreso. Samantala, labing apat na libong katao ang nagtatrabaho dito sa korporasyong ito. Labing apat na libong katao na hindi malaman kung sila ay magtatrabaho pa pagkatapos ng Marso o maglalakad na sila katilang na mga walang trabaho ng Pilipino. So therefore, at this point in time, we at Buhay Party List and the voice of the Filipino people are all united in asking, demanding in fact, that action be taken up now by the Committee on Franchises. Personally, I am calling for the attention of Chairman Alvarez on this matter. Every day we take up franchises of non-entities, unknown groups, unknown companies, corporations applying for a franchise, and we act on them judiciously, promptly. Oh, the question arises in my mind. Why are we dragging our feet on a very critical issue like the franchise renewal of a television network which has been part and parcel of our past, present, and dependent, depending on the future? Kaya minamahal kong mga kasamahan, ginagalang kong mga miyembro ng Kongreso, hindi tayo dapat manahimik dito sa isyo nito. Today, the Office of the Solicitor General filed a case in the Supreme Court for a quo warranto so that the franchise be ended. Tayo po ba'y manunood na lamang? Samantalang ang korte ang magde-decide sa kinabukasan nitong prangkisang ito. I urge each and every member of, the, of Congress today, we should demand for the Committee on Franchise to meet on this issue. Otherwise, kung ayaw pong gumalaw ng chairman, pwede na siya mag-resign at pumalit ang magde-decide at mangunguna sa deliberations nitong prangkisang ito. Ang sabi nila, Marami daw kontra dito sa renewal. Ang sagot natin, pabayaan natin magsalita ang kontra. Magsalita sila. Pakinggan natin sa pagbubukas ng pag-usaping ito sa, sa komite. Yun ang pagkakataon. Maglahad ng katotohanan yung mga naniniwalang hindi dapat ma-renew ang kontrata. Ay yung naniniwala po namang dapat ipagpatuloy ang pranghisa ay mabibigyan din po dapat at dapat lang pagbigyan ng kanilang pagkakataon ipaliwanag sa, sa bansa bakit kailangan ma-renew itong kontratang ito. But inaction will only spell the slow weakening of the foundations of our democratic system where the executive is now taking the task of acting on the franchise issue of ABS. Pag tayo po hindi gumalaw at ang, sena, ang, ang Skorte Suprema ang magbibigay ng desisyon, nangangahulugan lang that this Congress is really paralyzed with inaction.
and we should not be deserving to be called representatives of the people. Each and every member of Congress today should be considered as a duly elected member of this body that will decide on franchises in the country. That is a mandate of the Constitution, Mr. Speaker. Hindi po ito whimsical, discretionary, hindi po pwedeng, pwedeng ibang araw, sa ibang araw ay ipapasa natin sa executive and decision. We, as the Congress of the Philippines, is mandated by the Philippine Constitution that all franchises are deliberated on in Congress. Prangkisa maliit, prangkisa malaki, kailangang may aksyon ang Kongreso ng Pilipinas. There are 11 resolutions pending and there is an equal number of resolutions pending for the approval of the renewal. Wala akong alam na nag-file na resolusyon na nagsasabing huwag aprubahan. Overwhelming ang nabasa kong mga resolusyon na aprubahan ng prangkisa. Maraming resolusyon na nagsasabing pag-usapan na. Mag-deliberate na ang Kongreso. Yung mga miyembro ayaw kong makialam, ayaw niyong lumahok, huwag kayong lumahok. But it behooves the Committee on Franchises, Chairman Alvarez, Speaker Cayetano, you should act on this matter. The integrity of the House is at stake. Shall we allow the Office of the Solicitor General to take the, up the issue in the Supreme Court while we watch from the sidelines? Yan po'y magbibigay sa atin ng isang napaka masamang mukha na ang Kongreso ng Pilipinas ay hindi Kongreso na gumaganap ng kanilang tungkulin. We are nothing. We will be considered as nothing, even non-existent, if we give up this function. So today, I take the opportunity to rise on a question, not only personal, but collective, collective privilege of each and every member of Congress. We should demand for the Committee on Franchises to immediately take up the different resolutions filed by distinguished members of this House. Hinihingi nila na tayo ay magsalita, tayo ay kumuha ng kanya-kanyang bahagi. Kung kayo kontra, magsalita kayo. Kung kayo naman ay isang ayong marinyo, magsalita rin kayo. Hindi pwedeng nanunood lang tayo while the Supreme Court tackles the issue. This is not a matter for the Supreme Court. And we hope the Supreme Court doesn't even take up the matter simply because this is a matter that should be taken up in Congress as mandated, and I repeat, mandated by the Constitution. Mababaliwala po ang respeto sa ating saligang batas at lalong mawawala ang respeto sa Kongreso ng Pilipinas kung hindi natin aaksyonan itong isyo ito. No matter how sensitive an issue is, this Congress, if given the challenge, should act accordingly. Hindi pwedeng tayong lahat ay magtitingin na lang at magingitian. This is not a matter that can be settled by personal relations. This is a matter that, concern, that should concern national interest. And the national interest dictates that we act on this matter. If you ask me, I will take it up today, not tomorrow. So I don't know if Chairman Alvarez is listening. I hope he is. I am challenging him. Take up the issue. And if you are not in favor, fight it in the committee. While we, who are for justice, truth, integrity of the House, and the rule of law, will fight for what we believe is right. We are not a government ruled by men, but ruled by law. And that's the essence of this message. We should act accordingly. My dear colleagues, respected members of the Congress of the Philippines, huwag nating pabayaan ang Kongreso ay daan-daanan na lang. This is not going to be the first time. This is the second time 
that the co warrant is issued while Congress refuses to shoulder the responsibility. The responsibility lies in our laps. The power is within our hands. The duty of performing our duties is definitely prima primary and primordial than any other interest. And the fate of 14,000 Uh, may, may mga artista, of course, ang issue naman nila is their livelihood, their contracts. Kayo ho ay may mga kaibigan ding artista. Ano, ho? ano ang masasabi ninyo dun sa mga artista naman na uh, nakikiusap sa Pangulo? So, malakasiyang na huwag nang ituloy yung pag, uh, papahinto ng operasyon ng kanilang network. Ay, mali yung kanilang ano. <clears throat> Mali yung kanilang pinapakiusapan. Dapat makiusap sila sa Congress na i-renew <laughs> yung lisensya. Kasi kay President eh, wala naman siyang ano doon. Wala siyang pakialam doon. Pangalawa, ang hukuman naman na magde-design doon, hindi rin siya. So palaging outside di ko lang buo siya doon eh. Wala siya doon eh. But I can understand the feelings of people in ABS. Natural lamang yan. Uh -huh. Pero Secretary, uh, may mga pronouncement din ang Pangulo mismo na siya ang nagsasabi na talagang hindi niya na palulusutin yung... Ay, displeasure nga yun eh. He was expressing mm -hmm. displeasure. Mm -hmm. Di ba gano'n naman si Presidente when he says, I will kill the rich billionaires. What he means is, I will kill the desire of these rich billionaires to steal money from the people. Gano'n ang style ni Presidente eh. Dapat we should be used to that. All right, thank you. Okay, may follow. Like for instance, when when he says, "I will <clears throat> instruct Executive Secretary Salvador Medialdea to send the notice," e sinabi niya yung Bernes <laughs> weekend na. E pa paano niya nga naman ipapadala yon? <laughs> Wala nang opisina. O nga yung Monday siko, hindi magantay tayo kung either he padala niya or he calls himself the Secretary of Foreign Affairs. And depending on the president. Ace. Okay, Sec. If that's the case, sabi niyo walang kinalaman yung president dun sa Kowaranto, mm. how would you translate yung quote na I'll make sure you are out? Sino? Yung ABS-CBN daw po. How would you translate that quote of the president? I'll make sure you are out. Uh, hindi ko alam kung ano yung outwear. Hindi yun yung sinabi ni Presidente. Hindi tinapos eh kung ano yung out, yung, outwear. He was talking about the franchise and then he, he, he stated that yung I'll make sure you're out. Baka out of my grace. Out of? Out of my grace. Kung baka ano ka, budget ka na sa akin ngayon. Dati, dati eh. naman ng budget yung ABS-CBN kay Presidente. Hindi, yeah, hindi naman. Marami naman sa ABS-CBN na ano eh. So, ano ibig sabihin Objective. nun, out of my grace? Hindi. Yung, alam mo yung ano, yun nga eh, kaya siya nagsasalita ngayon, hindi niya nakakalimutan yung ginawa sa kanya. He was really very displeased. Yeah, yeah, we got that. We oh. got that. Pero ano yung out? Ah, hindi ko alam kung ano yung out. Okay, sige hindi po. Hindi niya naman tinapos kung ano yung out eh. Kasi franchise yung sinasabi niya nun ah. Nung sinabi niya yung statement na yun. Wala yun, basta sa akin, ano lang yung expression of displeasure. Sige. Basta Congress pa rin ang, ang may authority to grant. Pero sa kung, kung, kung Congress po yung, mm. mag, sabi nyo, di ba sila may power mag-grant ng franchise, mm. kung mag, ma, madedeclare na null and void yung franchise, anong igagrant nila? Kung, kung mag, halimbawa, i-declare na null and void yung franchise, ano pa yung igagrant ng Congress? O bakit naman hindi? They can uh, file a new franchise. Alam mo, nag-rule ang Supreme Court ngayon. Oh, nalin ba yung process nyo? O, oh, hindi na muna kayo mag-operate. But then they can, kasi may violation ka, di ayusin mo yung violation mo. Kung anong violation, di, you have to correct that.